For using Safari, I'll show you how to fix your settings so that you stay permanently in desktop mode. Before you start, you need to make sure that you have the latest software and you can check this by going into your settings app, into general, and then into software update and it should say 13.3. Now this will work on any website, but throughout this video, I'm just gonna use YouTube. Okay, so in your Safari app, you're gonna type in youtube.com and it will take you directly to your mobile version first. You're gonna click on the two little A's in the top left corner. Now once here, if you click on request desktop website, it will open up YouTube in desktop mode. However, it's not gonna be a permanent setting. So if I open up a new tab, I type in YouTube, it will take me back to the mobile version. Now before I show you the fix, I'm quickly gonna remind you guys to please give this video a like, hit the subscribe button with your notification bell turned on. So the way to make this permanent is to click on the double A, click on request desktop website, and then once you're in desktop mode, you need to click on website settings, and then slide this green button on for request desktop website. So if you close this tab and open up a new tab, the next time it will open up in desktop mode. And also any private incognito windows that you open will also open up in desktop mode. I do want to point out that if you're in your mobile version and you first click on website settings and slide the green button onto request desktop website, this will not be a permanent fix. You have to do the two-step process for it to become permanent. So if I now show you by opening up a new tab, typing in youtube.com, it's gonna take me back to the mobile app, even though I've made the change in the website settings. So you have to do the two-step process, which I just showed you. Now to temporarily switch back to the mobile version, all you need to do is click on the double A and click on request mobile website. But to permanently switch to mobile version, you only need to go into website settings and just slide this green button off. So it's only a one step process switching back, but to switch to the desktop version, it's a two step process.